that you had at your regional events. And I'm sure that many of you remember the Scholars Bowl. Yeah. Do any of you remember a special clip from the Scholars Bowl featuring a musical instrument from here in Australia? But no scholars, 
without this being one of our larger, our second largest global round, unless Durban sort of skyrockets or Manila gave like a thousand, thousand more. We have so many scholars from so many different countries this season at this round, nearly 30 countries, I believe, uh, plus or minus two. And for so many of you, you traveled from not too far away. But we've also had some scholars come and make a journey that involved multiple stops in airports, some longer than expected. Uh, and we're so grateful to be joined by all of you here today. So, you know, as we have to do it every global round, we'd like to take a quick poll to see sort of who came here from the furthest place, how far did you guys come? So, who here came or sat in a chair for over five hours to get here? Make some noise. Okay, okay. Over ten hours. Who fell asleep in a chair on the way here? Who fell asleep waiting for the opening ceremony to start? <laughs> Who didn't fall asleep last night because jet lag? <laughs> Who hasn't made it here yet? <laughs> Fair enough. Don't land again here. Scholars, uh, who came here not by plane, but by car, or train, or bus, or boat? That's the Sydney contingent. Wait, how do you come by boat? We're all on the harbor front. But from where? Like, from New Zealand, of course. <laughs> <laughs> New Zealand, did you come by boat? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that settles that. Perth, did you come by boat? <laughs> Perth was. <laughs> Perth is special. Uh, this, by the way, was a gift from a scholar from Perth, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, thank you, Perth. Strange things happen in Perth. <laughs> Most of the good strange things. Good. Yeah. Scholars of Indonesia, did you come by boat? <laughs> so, for those of you who came by plane, we've been taking a poll this summer, slashing my turns. Uh, we like polls. Uh, who prefers to fly in a window seat? Yeah. Who prefers to fly in an aisle seat? Yeah. Who prefers to fly in a middle seat? <laughs> <laughs> so window and aisle, we, we kind of understand. But anyone flying in the middle seat, why? <laughs> it's warm! It's what? Warm. warm. Yeah, uh, they're heated by the two other passengers. The people in the middle are the scholars who like cuddles from strangers. <laughs> no, you live if you're in the middle. The, yeah, you're sandwiched right. between the other side. Yeah, no, the middle is safe. They're like airbags. Yeah, potential. <laughs> well, that's, that's a twist. <laughs> yes, it's, that's a dark twist. Yeah, Let's twist back. Uh, my much happier reason for liking middle seats is when you can use the middle seat as a place from which to guard the two empty seats on either side of you. So you use it to be greedy. Yes, if you want the whole row to sit in the middle until the plane doors. But why won't someone just come and sit on the aisle? If you're in the middle? Yeah. Well, no. Because people don't want to be near other people. <laughs> but what are the planes really for? Then, I mean... Well then why would there be an empty row in the first place? See, no, the thing is, this is why you bring an alpaca with you, or two alpacas, so you can use the alpacas to guard the seats, and if someone comes along and is like, hey, is the seat empty, you'd be like, oh, clearly not, there's someone here. <laughs> and to further prove this kind of theory, look at this audience. In between each small group of scholars, there tends to be an empty chair because they did not want to be near other scholars. <laughs> scholars. That will change, we hope, especially during the bowl when the theater is very full because the juniors will be here. <laughs> hey, who loves the juniors? <laughs> okay. There were a, a couple seniors who tried to go on the cruise last night. Uh, you tried to go a day early. But, uh, who tried to sleep under the junior cruise? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wonder if any juniors want to sleep under the senior cruise. This does have a distinction of being the largest global round ever with the smallest senior division ever. Like, why do you mention that? 
Well, percentage-wise, I'm pretty sure this is the largest global round we've ever had with over 2,000 scholars. If you look at the ratios of seniors to total. How many seniors are there? Woo! This many. <laughs> I think the seniors don't know how to feel about that statistic. Yeah, right. Right. Oh, right. Right. Scholars! What do you guys like even more juniors? Oh. We could have the White House do a crowd estimate. <laughs> and then they can fill in the, uh, that's an old meat. The blank seats, the empty seats, the Photoshop. But scholars, we're genuinely very really happy to have all of you here. You come from so many places, some of you from as far away as the Bahamas. Yeah! Wow, that's more Bahamas than I thought. <laughs> some of you as unfar away as Australia. Yeah! A and couple of you from, uh, yeah, a couple or maybe more than a couple from Indonesia. Maybe a few from India? <laughs> Maybe a few from Europe? <laughs> We're happy you're here too. How about Canada? How about the United States? <laughs> we can combine the United States and Europe. <laughs> Let me roll the closing ceremony. Yes. Uh, Antarctica. <laughs> More people from Antarctica than from Canada and the US and Germany. It's closer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you can take a boat from here to Antarctica. Is that true? Yeah, like. Right? Yeah. Years, so all the Antarcticans are the ones that took the boats. <laughs> sure. How long was the boat ride? It was great. Okay. <laughs> <That's how long. laughs> uh, they probably froze at the beginning and we thought out as they were sitting <laughs> Ah, Carnegie. Kind of yes. These are our youngest scholars. <laughs> they should be in the junior division. <laughs> yeah, we add even more juniors. <laughs> should we like rebalance the divisions again? <coughs> Who is 14 years old? <laughs> Who is a junior age scholar, but they're in the senior division because they're teammates. <laughs> Welcome to the old division. <laughs> they are more old. The scholars, there are so many of you, and you come from many different regional rounds. And you will know the, the stories and the memories from your regional rounds, but you might not know what happened in all the other regional rounds, because there were so many. That's right. Each of our regional rounds sort of had its own unique specialness, you know? And every scholar here got to experience the uniqueness at their own regional round, but it might not be that easy to know what transpired at the other regional rounds unless you were at more than one regional round. Was anyone at more than one regional round? Yeah. Keep your hands up while security escort you out there. <laughs> Was anyone at more than one global round? <laughs> Again, we'll see you later. <laughs> Where's Matari Mac? We did have some random scholars from the Manila global round show up yesterday. Why? They were currently staying at a hotel nearby and saw the logo at the convention center. Okay. So they're at a Dilber on that hasn't even happened yet, and they're coming. Yeah, they came by, visited the merch booth, bought alpacas, and left. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, were they scholars from Australia? Or just... uh, no, they're from Singapore. Just having. They were just on vacation. <laughs> People on vacation in Singapore. Wait, so were they just not aware that we were having a global run? You must not have done that good of marketing and development in Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we are very good at selling the different locations. Yeah, uh, Beijing. Well, our really, selling point for Estonia was that it was yeah. cold. Right, our selling point for the hate was that it wasn't well known for anything but peace. And the selling point for like oh. Beijing was the air. Air. Yeah, the selling point for Sydney was the fact that there are Australians here. <laughs> it's hate at work. Yeah, Australians. Yeah. Australians can't make the sound of an Australian. That's the sound of Australia. Yeah, Australia is incoherent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, as Katsu was saying, uh, all of our original rounds have their own unique incoherency. Uh, different stories emerged as each one, memories that we have taken with us because we were able to be at multiple regional rounds. Most of us, all of us, really, although some fewer than others because of the Brennan University. 
You did not have that chance. So we were thinking uh, maybe it would be nice to share with all of you what happened at each one of those 150 regional rounds. Would you like to find out what happened at the other regional rounds? <laughs> would you like to find out one at a time, all 150? <laughs> It is, and one by two was a thousand scholars, so kind of almost double counts. Yeah. So, scholars, how about we take the time now to go through each and every single one of those individual regional rounds that you weren't at? Yeah. That's how we have two hours scheduled for the opening ceremony. <laughs> yeah, and today we don't have to do with the Minister of Education in this case. Ah. Yeah, she only came from juniors. So, scholars, all the different regional rounds, they had so, so many different individual aspects. In fact, at local round one, in the hot Dubai sun. That is where we kicked off the new season. At local round two, tradition held true. We held the round in Russia for no reason. At local round three, held in Bali, we can nearly seven hundred scholars. Hey, somebody is unhappy about That's that. That's good, but we weren't. Yeah. Thank you very much. I know, yeah. we'll do it again. It would be so too many years. Years. Uh, So that he's not only remembered for that. So, right, there were so many conspiracies online and on many questionable Instagram pages that suggest things like that perhaps the alpaca head removal was planned ahead of time by Dylan. <laughs> Yeah, there's these theories that before the opening ceremony, Dylan must have been backstage, like, cutting the stitches off this. These theories are wrong. <laughs> yeah, that happened to a scene off of Right, there's different kinds of uh, murder, right? That's like, like, this was not meditated. So, uh, scholars, do you want Dylan to throw the alpaca? Yeah! If Dylan throws the alpaca and it stays in one piece, will that redeem him? <laughs> will it prove he never committed a crime? If Wait, you prove you didn't commit something after the fact? Like, if I... If I... <laughs> if I took your... <laughs> well, the fact that you're struggling to come up with an example probably means this logic doesn't work. Okay, if I stole your car last year, uh -huh. and then tomorrow I prove I did it, I'm not stealing your new car, that means I didn't do it last year. Yes, logic. Yes, yes. <laughs> then you'll be arrested twice. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why? Well, for stealing two cars. No, but if I don't want to doesn't apply for two different cars. The moral of the story okay. is that neither of them has a degree in law. <laughs> <laughs> or much moral. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, Dylan, like you want to attempt this act of redemption? I mean, not really. Oh, redemption, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Scholars, do any of you want the alpaca's head to come off again? <laughs> Side note, I digress, but one thing that fascinates me is the juniors believe that the logic of deduction. <laughs> yeah, the seniors just stare at us like, no. <laughs> Thank you, seniors, for being the logic. Throw it! <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Can you count, um, count from three with me? Three, two, <laughs> one! Is it okay? Is it one piece? No. Does that mean Dylan? No. Well, you try. I mean, you know, it's not like he'll redeem himself with the second one. 